Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Yo voy a ver que estamos nombrando como tres o cuatro que han dicho. Yo pienso, mire, la ley ahorita está nombrando una ley que dice que lo que. <risa> Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, did you get your bitcoins? <laughs> ah, not yet, teacher. Not no. yet. No yet. No yet. No yet. Never. Ah, pues pásemelos. Okay. <laughs> Ya le doy mi duy. <risas> Pásemelo. <risas> Peligrosa esa moneda. Esa sí ya me huele al fin del mundo. <risas> <risas> No. Mire, usted va a otro país, a otros países y no, ya no le agarran eh, efectivo. Sí, es todo, todo, es todo es plástico. Tarjeta. Todo es plástico. Todo es plástico, cierto. Sí, ¿Verdad? Ya lo ven raro cuando usted saca billetes para pagar. Es cierto. Sí. Así que no, hombre, tranquila. Muchas películas. <ríe> no sé, no he visto ninguna de eso. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Está cambiando la voz a Arnoldo. ¿Qué tal sí, Arnoldo? Se ve rompito. Sí, my face. Okay. I'm crying for the fever. Really? Yeah. My eyes is hurt. Ah, yeah. Take pills. I have flu in this moment and fever. I headache. Hasta yo me siento mal así como lo escucho. Ay, Dios mío. Ya me imagino cómo me siento. Está cosa. 
Almost body. <laughs> Thank you. Teacher. No, necesito un shot de penicilina. De Tequila. Uno. De unos 10 millones. ¿Me da Frida? <risa> Arnoldo, así como está, necesito un shot de penicilina de unos 10 millones. <risa> ok. Y todos, wow, los y todos ah. los glóbulos blancos mueren, todos los glóbulos rojos mueren. <risa> Así de paso mata la enfermedad y todo el sistema de defensa que tiene. Así que si no se muere de una cosa, se muere de otra. Exacto. Teacher. Hola. I talk with... Uh, como un encargado de inglés corporativo. Ajá. Uh -huh. And tell me that I can receive the class only with uh, a listen okay 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 no problem thanks okay. just pay attention and that's it i'm ready okay good evening people one more time i was asking if you already got your your wallet, your Chivo wallet. Uh, are you going to are you going to use your your thirty dollars in bitcoins? Zero point zero 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 five bitcoins. <laughs> It's another generation. Yeah. Definitely. Times are changing. Are changing. It's a joke, the chivo. <laughs> okay. Let's have fun. Okay, people. Anna Lillian Reyes. Welcome. Brian Javier Carmona. Pareció. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Not yet. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Welcome. Javier Aldair Escobar. Welcome. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here. Okay. Welcome. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Welcome. Jose Thank Jonathan you. Vigil. No, Jonathan. The Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. Hello. Hey, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Welcome, Catherine. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Welcome. María Concepción Cerón. Present teacher. Welcome. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Welcome. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Okay. Um, les escribía por ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp que hoy a Mauricio le toca la sesión personalizada. Y como no se presenta, pues está disponible. Tranquilo, tranquilo, solo uno. Solo uno. Ok, si alguien quiere me avisa, ¿verdad? Ahí aclaramos dudas, cambiamos bitcoins, hacemos algo. Son 10 minutos. 
Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Tampoco ya, ¿verdad? Eh, Mayra Veraliz, Mayra Veraliz de Moreno, hello bien, Mayra. Bien. Éxito. <risa> <risa> ok. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Excellent. Ah, the hotel accepts bitcoins, Zaira. Uh, turn on your microphone. No pudimos descargar la aplicación ahora, pero sí se van a aceptar. Ah, so, pues ahí vamos a ir con los bitcoins a pasar un okay, weekend. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wendy y Maribel. Ir, antes ah. de que tiene que ir antes que sigan bajando, teacher. No, sí, de todos modos son 30 dólares, 30 dólares, son 30 dólares. Uh. <ríe> Wendy, Maribel, Zabaleta. Present teacher. Ay. Ok, very good. Teacher, present. Ajá, apareció. Where are you? What are you doing? Ah. <ríe> Are you shopping? Yeah, I am at La Gran Vía. Oh, look, aha. Using your bitcoins, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, antes de que se acaben, dice Dinora. <laughs> Excellent. Me sobra aquí, me sobra el bitcoin, me molesta. <laughs> Okay, in English you say, I have a hole in my pocket. Yeah, tengo un hoyo en la bolsa, es así cuando le estorbe el pisto. I have a hole in my pocket. I have a hole in my pocket. Okay, good. In my wallet. <laughs> I chew a wallet. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, okay. Uh, Let's see, you had some conversation yesterday, right? With the idioms. Okay, so por ahí los vi así algo um, abrumados con los idioms, ¿verdad? Eh, son expresiones que no tienen sentido literal. Yo les ponía ejemplos, ¿no? Así como decir, este, eh, está lloviendo rap, sapos y culebras o... Eh, al, al perro más flaco se le pegan las pulgas, ok, son expressions, ¿no? Que no tienen ese significado literal, ¿ya? Eh, eh, entonces, eso sí, eh, pueden usarse en diferentes tiempos, present, past, future, ok, sí, sobre todo si, si usan formas verbales, ¿ya? Así es que eh, veamos cómo las utilizaron en sus conversations. Um, ayer sí no tomé copia de cómo estaban formados los grupos. Así es que eh, nos vamos por, por el orden de... ¿Qué? Nos voy llamando como están en pantalla y eh, ustedes me dicen quién es su compañero, con quién trabajaron. Y, y nos presentan su conversación, ¿ok? So, in that way, we are going to work today with the conversation. So, just tell me who's your partner. And uh, let's start then with Galileo. Who was your partner? Who, who is your partner, Galileo? Yes, teacher. My partner was uh, Mayra. Amaira, yeah. Yes. Let's take advantage that she is on time today. Uh, <laughs> may, may I share my screen, teacher? Definitely, absolutely. Thank Go you. ahead. Hi. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Mayra? Okay. Yes. You are Mayra Hello. and I am Galileo. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Galileo. Hi, Mayra. Did you hear that the news said? No, I didn't. 
we are in pandemic situation because there is something going around. Take it easy. Maybe we are going to be in tip top shape. You are right. I hope we are not going to be under the weather too. I hope the same too. Nice to see you, Galileo. You too, Mayra. Okay, very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank so, but that, that is a conversation from March 2020. Yeah, the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Nice uses, usage of the idioms. Okay, now, Miss Concepcion. Ah, nunca le hemos dicho Conchita, no le gusta que le digan Conchita. No. <laughs> okay, no, pues. Mary, Mary, who is your partner, Mary? Frida and Ana Lilian. Okay, Frida and Ana Lilian. Are you going to share the conversation? Let me see. Eh, pero solo tengo un word picture. No problem. So, it's okay. Give me a second. Okay. Good morning, Frida. What do you think about people getting sick? Wait, take COVID? it easy, take it easy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, there it is. Okay. Good morning, Frida. What do you think about people getting sick of COVID? There's something going around. Ana Lilian? Okay. I don't uh, think. Being, 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 being. You have to be careful. You can afford uh, to be under the well too. That's right. It is recommended to use a mask in public place. Yes, I think we are trying. <clears throat> okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue with Wendy. Who is your partner, Wendy? Teacher is tri trio because. Okay. Bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque no. No, no entendíamos que era como un diálogo, hicimos oraciones. Oh. Uh -huh, no lo entendimos. Ok, let's see your sentences. The sentences. Yes. Ok. Ok. Una cada. Bueno, hicimos cuatro. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo voy a leer la primera y, y mis compañeras las. Who are, who are your partners? Sí, Zaira. Zaira. Y María Ivania. And Ivania. Okay. Can, can anybody understand? Okay. 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 Because I have trouble. Oh. <laughs> my work is under the weather because my co-workers are, are very friendly. Uh, oh, si ese quizá no. Mm. It is not correct because under the weather is um people getting sick la gente enfermándose no sentirse oh. enfermo okay but okay we, we understand <laughs> bajo el clima le llamo yeah pero si sí, <laughs> tiene otro sentido <laughs> we don't understand sorry okay no problem okay let's see javier Hi, teacher. 
Who's your partner? Rodrigo. Okay. Okay. Can you share the conversation? Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a second, please. Okay. <coughs> mm. ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Hi, Rodrigo. How are you? I used to feel very well. I am a sick as a dog. Take it easy. Uh, go to the doctor and take some pills that you will. See, that you will some feel good. Is it right? I can afford to get sick. I have to work. Is it right? I hope he get you back some. Bye. Bye. Okay, okay. Good, thank you. Uh, a ver, ¿qué nos falta? Oh, Miss Caroline, we heal. Hi, teacher. I couldn't keep engaged on the homework from class last night. Oh, I couldn't yes. connect to Zoom after Zoom. Yeah, no pude I entrar see. después. Me vinieron hoy a cambiar hasta el contador porque tuve problema eléctrico, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, es cierto, okay, es cierto. Sorry. No problem, me la debe, la debe. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, Catherine. Ok, teacher, with Dinora. Ok, good. And where is Dinora? She is in La Gran Vía. <laughs> she just connect to the attendance list and, and left. <laughs> Okay, can you share the conversation? Um, no, teacher, I, I have in my notebook. Ah, okay. Okay, read it. Mm -hmm. And she has in, in there, in, she's com in her computer. Ah, okay. No problem. So you have the conversation in your notebook, so you can read it? Yes. Okay, just read yes. the conversation. Um, for example, and Catherine, hello, good morning, Dinora. I have a problem. And Dinora, hello, Catherine. Really? What happened? Catherine, today I wake up and I was sick as a dog because I have flu. And Dinora says, okay. And are you calling sick to our boss? And Catherine, yes, I called him early and he said me that he is in the same situation. His stomach is, is killing him. And Dinora says, really? Okay, take it easy. I'm going to do the project for myself. And Catherine says, thank you. And Dinora says, I hope to see you tomorrow. Take medicine. Bye. Okay. Very good. Okay. Nice. Um, perfect. So tonight we are going to continue with the next lesson, which is about um, phrasal verbs. Okay. But let me share the screen with you. Okay. In tonight's class, you will be able to ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met. Hmm. Then we have a couple of questions here to start talking. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment 
who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? Is a doctor? Is a chef? Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment, people? He is a technician. A technician, okay. Mechanic. A mechanic, okay, good. A technical support. A technical support. And what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with, you have problem with? What are some pieces of equipment that give you problems at work in your company? Is there any machine, any equipment that gives you a lot of problems in your work? In my case, the print. The printer. Printer, oh, ah. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is another, ex there is an expression uh, to, to, to call a, a machine that is problematic. It's, and you said that it's a lemon. <laughs> so when a machine is problematic, so you say, ah, oh, this printer is a lemon. Yeah. Es un limón, imagínense. Eso es otro, otro idiom. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Scanner. Scanner for a, for a copy. Yes. For a copy. And printer. And printer. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, somebody else? What a piece of machine that gives you problems at work? Everything works perfect. In my case, we have a divider machine. Divider machine is the machine that put the double pizza ah. according to the size. That uh -huh. Uh, there are one piece, piece, mm -hmm. piece uh, mm -hmm. there are one piece, uh, is broken frequently. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. If we don't have that machine, we can produce dough. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alguien más? In my case, my computer is slow and the printer um, does not have a toner oh, okay. right now. Okay. Okay. So, good. Now, let's see in this conversation um how they talk about similar situations okay it's a conversation between dave and tom tom i need your help can you pass me that that spanner please i need to tighten up this screw sure here you go Thanks a lot. Look, did Kate clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. He know he did, I know he did, because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. So one more time. And please practice. Okay, repeat after me. Tom, I need your help. 
tongue. I need, I need, I need, I need your, your help. help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? Can, Can you pass, you pass me, me that, that banner, please? please? I need to tighten up this screw. I need, I need to tighten up, up, up this screw. Um, sure, here you go. Sure, here you go. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kate clean up the room before he left? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kate clean up the room before he left? Um, yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Yes, yes he did. He did. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? Great. Great. By, the way, by the way, did you call up the electrician? Um, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. And now we have a problem. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that, that if you don't oil, oil it with regular later, then it will stay up eventually. That's correct. That's, that's, correct. Correct. that's correct. Okay. If you observe these words, uh, tighten up, clean up, Switch off, call up, turn off, says up. So these are what we call phrasal verbs. Yeah. Phrasal verbs. Because these are verbs form by two words, okay? Tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, turn off, says up. Son verbos, okay? But two words, verb. Two words, verb, okay? And they have different meanings, okay? Okay, so we're going to see that later. Now, what is the meaning of this? Yeah, what is the meaning of tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, turn off, and says up? Okay, I'll give you time later to find out. Now, Let's practice the conversation one more time. I am Dave and you are Tom, okay? Let's practice. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, yes he did. I know. Yes, he did. I know. I know. He did. 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 I yeah. Yeah. That's correct. 
Okay, now you are Dave and I am Tom. You begin. One, two, three. Tom. Sure, here you go. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. That's, That's correct. 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 Okay, some new words here, maybe. Um, what is the meaning of spanner? What is a spanner? Anybody knows? Jave. Jave, verdad? Pero no, no llave de puerta, ni llave de carro, no? Llave de mecánico. Okay. Uh, so let's practice the pronunciation of the this verb. Tighten up. Tighten up. Repeat, please. Tighten up. Tighten up. Okay. Now this other word. Screw. 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 What is a screw? Tornillo. Tornillo, okay, muy bien. Um, now, this other verb, clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Mm -hmm. Now, this, switch off. 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 Call up. Call up. Call up. Call up. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. Says up. Say up. Say up. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, very good. So now um, I will give you time to practice this conversation and to respond some questions about the conversation. Okay, we have three questions here about the conversation. Number one, what seems to be the problem? Number two, what kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? And number three, who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? Okay, three questions to respond together. And maybe the third one is individually, okay? Because you have to respond about your workplace. Muy bien. Uh, so I'll send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation, respond the questions. Any question with the activity? Okay. Let me see. Okay, two, 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 two. Perfect. Okay, see you in 
Well, 10 minutes. ¿Quiénes empiezan? Sí, Brian, Brian, hable un poquito más fuerte. Sí, como que no se escucha bien. Está aquí queriendo, no? como que está viendo. Pero ahorita sí se le escucha. Arnoldo dijo que quería estar de oyente porque no puede hablar mucho. No sé si te dejo aquí o te, te saco. Aquí está bien. Voy a escuchar. Ok. No problem. Inicio, Brian, si quiere. Mm, con Dave, ¿verdad? Dave, sí. Mm. Uh, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten it up this screen. Sure. Here you go. You go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. I know he, he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? If Jane doesn't stop the turn off, uh, now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't pull it regularly, it will size up, size up eventually. That's correct. ¿Lo hacemos nuevamente o ustedes sí? Mm. Y si respondemos, respondemos ahorita las preguntas. Ok. Y después continuamos. Just a thing. Don't stop. Ok, let's stop. Turn off, turn off. Ah, es que ahí se acaba, como se mencionó, ¿verdad? Ah, el motor no se, ah, el motor se detiene y se apaga. Ese es el problema. Uh -huh. Ok. Si Inge no stop. No se stop, turn off. Ok. Ok, second question, what do you need to help? Second question, what kind of job do you think Dave and Tom? ¿Qué tipo de trabajo crees que tiene Dave y Tom? Dice. Number two. Ok. Pues creo que son de mantenimiento. Porque dice... Uh, Quiero ver. 
Dice, thanks a lot, look. No, thanks a lot, look. Did he clean up the room before he left? O sea, eh, lim, limpiaste la habitación antes, o limpió la habitación antes de irse. Uh -huh. Pero sé que no, porque pedí que apagara la corriente. Man, man, man. Maintenance. Ajá, creo que es de mantenimiento. Okay. Personal Manches. Y dice quién es el encargado de controlar la, la maquinaria del equipo. En su trabajo. Ajá. Pero sí, yo creo que ya es personal de nosotros. Sí, ya es de cada uno. I don't know. <risa> de circulación no pues sí ay disculpe no no tenga pena sí mire eso cabal ese Chaira, es como ajá como socar quizás como endure, endurecer ajá uh -huh, tenga ajá como apretar uh -huh. dice I need to your head you can pass me this es poner please, I need to know this group. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, clean up the room before. Ajá, es que así algo así dice que necesita eh, como apretar ese tornillo y le dice que está bien, ¿verdad? Ajá. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? De... Um, clean up quiere decir este yo lo puse así kit clean up dice limpia la habitación ¿Eh? es como limpiar la habitación um... Antes que él, de, que él dejara como el cuarto, yes. Uh -huh. He did, I know. He did because I asked him to shoot up Left. the power. Uh -huh. Limpia uh -huh. la habitación antes de irse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y dice, sí, él lo hizo, ¿verdad? I know, yo sé que él lo hizo because I asked him to shoot up the power. Great, by the way, he didn't call up the electrician. Entonces yo creo que como ya para ir ya poniendo ajá, algo. Ajá, entonces el problema en sí sería como technician, technician. Ok, technician. Technician. Who is is a change checking the machine or oh, checking the, the machine and equipment of your workplace? Ah, eso sería como nosotros. El personal checking the machinery and equipment. En mi case, en mi case support support IT support, support. <laughs> de departamento qué de Support IT department. Le llama, ajá. ¿Cómo le llaman? Soporte técnico. O sea, como lo mío es servicio, prácticamente siempre nos dan so, support Te, eh, técnico, pero le llaman IT de, departamento. IT. IT department. Ajá. Y IT, así. Sí. IT okay. department. Yes. Ah, creo que habíamos visto algo de eso. In my case. No, así no. Technician. Pero es como. O sub, support. Pero no hay nadie específico, pues. O sea, ah. llamamos a uno que esté disponible. O sea, es, exter es, es externo. Ajá, mm. external technician. Voy a poner. Ah, ok. External support IT department and external techni technician. Ok. okay. Si practice, practice, hoy, hoy seguimos practice. con la practice. Usted yes. ahí. You, ok. Eh, ahí Anton. <laughs> ok. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner? 
please. I need to. I don't know how to pronounce this. I need to. Think. Think. No, no, no. Take how to pronounce this. Tainag. 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 Ya lo voy a poner para que se oiga. Is true. Is true. Is true. Is true. This crew. This crew. Pa, ajá, para mí es este. Tom es mecánico. Es mecánico, es mecánico. Y de. Bueno, ajá. Y de. Oh, um, I need to hide the contest, no? I just can't play him with him. I'm just quiet. Ah, pues no, es al revés. That Davy, porque mm -hmm. Davy, Davy es el mail. Okay. ¿Y qué es Tom? No, hombre, es que uno, uno tiene el problema y el otro. <ríe> Ajá, a ver. <ríe> Ya me pasé. Ya perdí la página. Aquí está mi niño. Spanner. Uh, let me check. Spanner. No, no mi amor. Va a rayar la máquina. Spanner, 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 Spanner. Venga por aquí. Siente aquí. Oh, there is. Ask him. Ask him. What? Ask him. Ask him. Sí. Ask him. Uh, sí, ask him. Uh -huh. Ask him. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him oh, to yeah. switch off the power. Mm -hmm. okay. no, Here. Uh, veamos cuál otra. And the Tom. Sure. Es here. Here you go. As, yeah. Sure. Here you go. O oh, en otras palabras, aquí tienes. O oh, aquí vamos. Aquí está. Sure. Here you go. Eh, I need to tighten up. Es como azotar, apretar, ajustar. I need to tighten up this screw. Necesito this ajustar is, o apretar screw. este tornillo. Sí, this yes. screw. Okay. This screw. Yeah. Lo, vol uh, lo volvemos a, yeah. a leer. You are, you are Dave, I am Tom. Yes, Tom. Yes, yes. Tom, I need your help.
Okay, welcome back. Let me, okay, let's take the second attendance. And after that, you're, you're going to show me your conversations and your answers. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier Carmona. Brian Javier. No Present teacher. You. Okay. Teacher. Alfaro. Okay, Brian. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Eh, Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. José Arnoldo Mazariego. José Galileo Barrera. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. José Jonathan Present. Vigil. Oh, thank you, José Rodrigo. Eh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Ok, ok. María Concepción Cerón. Present. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Here. Okay, let me hear your pronunciation in this conversation. Let me share the screen. Okay. Oh, the groups. Okay, let's start with. Okay, Brian and Mary, please. Brian and Mary. No están. Okay. Oh, no les escucho. Okay, Frida and Javier. Hello. Hello. Hey, I am Dave. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he didn't, he didn't. I know he didn't because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way. Uh, why, uh, by the way, did you call, call up the electrician? The engineer engineer doesn't stop to uh, turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil the regularity, it will set up, um, um, set up, okay, eventually, eventuality. Eventually. That's correct. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Mary, está ahí? Yes, teacher. A ver, Rodrigo and Mary, please. Okay, teacher. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tin up the screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, the can clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to, to, to sweep up the power. Great. By the way, did you call me help up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. I know we have a problem. 
Yeah, I think I think that if you don't own it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, Catherine and Myra, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to think up this, this group. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did clean did kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I escaped him to a switch of the power. Great, but the way he did you call up the electrician? The engineer doesn't stop the turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will say up eventually. That's correct. Thank you. Laura and Wendy. Okay. Tom, okay. I did. Oh, okay, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I did you, Tom. Okay. okay. Tom, I need to help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten that screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks, thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine does, does not stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will sense up eventually. That's correct. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Anna Lilian and Ivania. Um, I need your help. Can you pass? Pass me that spanner, please. I need to 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 tinder up this screen. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did did kid. Clean, clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, didn't you sugar, sugar up the electric, electricity, the in, in the en engineer does stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will stay up eventually. That's correct. Okay, thank you. And finally, Galileo and Saira. Okay, I'm Dave. Thank you. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did clip this, did clip, I'm sorry. Thanks a lot. Look. Did kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, 
I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Perfect. Okay, people, any question with the conversation? Any problem with the pronunciations? Let's say, uh, think, uh, think, something. I don't know. Wow. Type, uh, I need to type, type them. I don't know who, como se dice? Tighten, tighten. Tighten up. Yeah, tighten up. Tighten up. Mm -hmm. Tighten up. Tighten up. Any other question? How do you say size up? No way. Size up. Yeah. Size up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what seems to be the problem? What is the problem here? The machine is enough uh, lubricant. They don't oil it. Uh-huh. Okay, but why do they do they need to oil it? There is another they, problem. The engine doesn't stop to turn. Yes. The engine doesn't stop to turn off. I think wow. the engine doesn't stop to turn off. I think off. the root uh, problem is they don't oil it. The, wow. the effect is the the engine doesn't okay. stop. Doesn't yeah, stop. that it was okay. Okay. Uh, what kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? Maintenance personnel. Maintenance personnel? Yeah, probably, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now this is individually. Individual answers. Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? Let's see, give me some answers. Who checks the machinery and equipment in your company? Maintenance department. The maintenance department, okay. Mm -hmm. Something different? IT department, department. Ah, IT department could be when, if the machines are computers and software. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look then to these phrasal verbs. Okay, let me share the screen. Oh. To take a look to the phrasal verbs. How to use two word phrasal verbs? Well, it says here, some verbs are two part verbs. They consist on a verb. They are formed for, um, no, no, no. They are formed for a verb and a particle. A verb and a particle or small word like a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. Okay. For example, take after. Take after. This is a phrasal verb. And uh, 
take is, is a verb, yeah, the verb take. But cuando le agregamos after, ya da otra idea, la idea cambia. Por ejemplo, decimos, he takes after his father. Eso significa, he looks like his father. Or, he behaves like his father. Se parece al papá. Entonces, ya la unión de take y after, ya es otra idea, ¿ok? Ya significa parecerse o comportarse como. Call. Call por sí solo es un verbo. Call. Pero cuando le agregamos off. Ya significa otra cosa. ¿Verdad? Mary called off the, the meeting. Eso significa que Mary canceled the meeting. Call off significa cancelar algo, un evento. ¿No? Entonces eso es lo que se conoce como phrasal verbs. Verbos donde eh, que al agregarle una partícula cambia. La idea cambia completamente. Veamos. Algunos ejemplos acá. Um, Quizás estos no sean los, más, los mejores ejemplos de eso porque prácticamente um, la mayoría significa igual, ¿no? Pero, por ejemplo, tighten, apretar, tighten up, es eso, apretar, socar algo, ¿no? Switch, esto sí, bueno, switch por sí solo es, es cambiar, ¿verdad? Cambiar. Ahora, y así decimos, switch off, switch off, ya es otra cosa, apagar, apagar un, un, una máquina, ¿verdad? Apagar algo con un switch, switch off, clean, bueno, sí, es, es limpiar, y clean up, también limpiar. Um, says up significa eh, como que se, se, se atasque, se, se trabe algo, ¿no? Y a eso se refiere en el ejercicio. Si la máquina no se le pone aceite, if you don't oil it regularly, it's going to size up. Ya se va a trabar, se va a eh, atascar. A, a ok. Turn up, turn off. Turn, por sí solo, girar. Turn off, turn on, turn off, apagar, turn on, encender. Call, llamar. Call up, también llamar. Entonces, um, estos son lo que se conoce como phrasal verbs. Verbos que usan dos palabras. ¿Ya? Yeah. Bien. Eh, entonces, la idea es acá... Crear oraciones, completar estas oraciones usando estos verbos. Ya les mostré aquí arriba rápidamente, si se, si se fijaron, cómo emparejar esto, ¿verdad? Tighten up. Switch. ¿Con cuál va switch? Switch off. Switch off. Hey, clean. Clean up. up. Size up, size up, turn off, off. turn off, and call up. up. 
Okay. Entonces, eh, complete the sentences, please, with the correct verb. I will give you five minutes to do it, and then we're going to check together. Háganlo y lo revisamos juntos.
los que terminen, pongan la manita para ver que ya terminaron, por favor. Esta mano. Excelente.
Okay. Your microphone. Yeah, I got it now. Thank you. Okay, what is number two? This workshop is very dirty. Let's. What is the verb for this? Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Correct. Let's clean up this place. Okay, number three. Turn off. Turn off. I think. Okay. Actually, it could be turn off or switch off. So these verbs are synonyms, actually. So we can use them, use them indistinctly, okay? Number four, I hope the computer won't. I coloque to off. I coloque your switch off. Off. Okay, let's see. Let's use here turn off. And, and number three, switch off. Okay. Because switch off is more related to the action to uh, apagar, verdad? Bueno, hacer la acción de apagarlo. Y turn off, así como que de repente se le apagó algo, ¿no? Ah, ok, thank you. También, ¿no? Pero, pero, pero funciona para decir, eh, apaga el, el aire acondicionado. Sí, se puede usar turn off, no hay problema. No. Ok. Number five, if you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will. I think it's stays up. up. Says up. Atascarse, no? And the printer just stopped working. We need to call up. Call up. A technician. Very good. Okay. Let's practice these sentences, please. Uh, Repeat, please. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. You can can you pass the spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Yeah. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. I hope the computer won't turn off again. I hope the computer won't turn off again. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. The printer, the printer just, just the stopped working. Work. 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 It needs a technician. Call up a technician. Okay, very good. Any question here, people? Nope. Great. Now, um, teacher. Yes. In in the platform in homework 14 ah exercise 2 yes <laughs> yeah um hay un problema con esa ese ejercicio no le han programado la respuesta al ejercicio 2 okay verdad entonces yeah. eso le va a estar dando fallo ya lo reporté Ah, okay. Thank you. 
No, sí, no le han puesto cuál es la respuesta correcta. Es el ejercicio 2 de la tarea 14, de esta tarea. Yes. Esperemos lo arreglen y ya mañana pueda, pueda tomarle la respuesta correcta. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Um, okay. Uh, I already sent in WhatsApp uh, material, some material. And if you see that in WhatsApp, it says the 27 more use uh, phrasal verbs. Yeah? More important phrasal verbs. 27 uh, important phrasal verbs. Okay. And these are five pages. They are five pages. And we're going to do this. I will assign one page per group. But well, we have six groups. No, we're going to change to five groups. Only five groups. Okay. And so I will assign one page per group. Okay, so group number one, page one. Group number two, page two. Okay, and so on. Group number three, page three, four, four, five, five. And what are you going to do? I want you to write one sentence using the verb in the five or six verbs in your page, okay? Page one, there are five or six different phrasal verbs, okay? More phrasal verbs. Let me show you the document in here. Is this document, okay, let me share the screen. This is the document I sent you in WhatsApp. Okay, page one, there are different verbs. For example, bring up, check in, check, in, check out. Let me enhance this. Yeah. Come on, fill in. And you have two examples. Tienen dos ejemplos de cada de cada phrasal verb, okay? Entonces what you are going to do is one more, una una oración más por cada verbo. Eso van a hacer. ¿De acuerdo? Yes, teacher. Thank you. So group number 1, page number 1. Group number 2, page number 2. And who is group number one? Galileo, Rodrigo, and Mary. You are group number one. Group number two, Frida, Ivania, and Mayra. You are group number two. Group number three, Ana Lilian, Javier, and Laura. Group number four, um, a ver, aquí voy a mover mejor. Porque Arnoldo está de oyente y no lo queremos forzar, no se nos vaya a poner peor. Eh, vamos a mover acá. ¿Dónde está? I'm here. Ok, ¿crees que puedes hacer esto o...? I'm ready. Ready. Ah, ok. Vaya pues. Yo ahí chinchineándote. Ok, so, uh, group, no number, group number three, I, I said, Ana Lilian, Javier and Laura, group number four, Arnoldo and Zaira, y group number five, Catherine and Wendy. Ok. Okay, go to your groups and work.
Ya tiene el teléfono, me meto. Galileo. Ya, ya lo tengo. Sí, ya lo tengo. Let me check. Page number one is bring up. Bring up. Bring up. It was brought up in a village in the south. She brought up the topic of cause in the meeting. Okay. I brought up, I brought up, brought up uh, my family. to stay at home tonight. What do you suggest? No. Ah, siempre con el can you, can you okay. feel or can you? Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Pero como se... ¿Cuál es la tarea con what? Can you thin out? Thin out. Wash. Eh, no, ¿cuál es la tarea? Sería. Quiero ver. Let me think. Eh, what is the homework? Podemos utilizar siempre lo mismo, pero cambiándole un poco. Por ejemplo. Ah. We're going out the morning to the beach. Ah, ok. Sería algo así, ¿ve? O sea, siento de que tenemos ya estructura y podemos agregar este, otra situación okay. para no complicarnos. Por ejemplo... Eso suena, eso suena algo... <risa> Algo válido. Lazy, algo lazy. Algo válido, teacher. No. Solo cambiémosle evening por morning. <risa> Qué malo el teacher. No. Listo. No. no. Wow. Eh. Vaya, pues le vamos a cambiar algo más, teacher. No. Vaya. Y... Podemos decir the weekend, the weekend go out this. <laughs> We're the conference teacher. <laughs> Pone, pongamos mejor, get out, my, get out of my room right now. No, bueno, no es get out, es go out. Go, go out. out. Perdón. The uh, weekend. Vaya go, pues. Go vaya ok, pues. teacher, vamos a seguir pensando, teacher. Nos vamos a esforzar. <risa> I, I take care of, of, of my, of my salud. I take care of, of my health. Of my health, please. Sería así. Yeah. Next. My. Okay, el otro es. <coughs> Sorry. No se preocupe. Take off. Este es. No puedo ser más grande. 
letters. The poo is torn down Cap letters. For example, the poo, poo is, is the, is, the poo is, 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 uh, podemos poner the, the pool. No, the pool is in the other garden. Mm. In the other, yeah, the pool is no. the other garden. In the other garden. Other garden. Please. And down the letters, and you can use it. Uh -huh. mm. The book is muy español, así. <laughs> the book mm. is the I have another. I have other sentence. We are checking out the inventory stock of pepperoni. Estamos chequeando el inventario de pepperoni. Checking Mira out. que no he cenado y usted no está. <risa> pizza, Papa John's pizza. Está mencionando a Papa John, carnívora. Comprobar, no. verificar, también aplica. So, we are checking out 
the inventory stock of pepperoni. Estamos verificando el inventario de pepperoni. Yo creo que son los stocks por su inventory como repetir. The stock of pepperoni. Let me check the other. Come on, come on, come on. Fue la invitación para on. la pizza porque ya no se yo. Uh, Frida said we are in pandemic situation. Pero el teacher se quería. Yeah. yeah. Teacher is agree. <laughs> I hope we can meet with you uh, someday. Just put a day. Teacher. Diga algo a ti. Dígale a, ah. dígale a Lileo que sigue el pie de la pieza. Come on, teacher. Yeah, no problem. Me, For me, me, no problem. Me, we can meet in Papa John's pizza. La carnívora es el teacher que quiere. Mm -hmm. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> Come on, teacher. We can meet in Papa John's Pizza. When and where? When and where? Nice question. <laughs> Good. No, no, va a ser el 50% de descuento. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Feeling Sunday. Really On Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. At dinner, maybe on dinner. Ah, maybe because like I come from Sultan on Sunday noon. Ah. <laughs> At least you can go to the restaurant uh, Wednesday at noon. Maybe oh, uh, we can take a lunch on uh, Wednesday. What do you think? Um, on weekdays, difficult. Ah, okay. Okay, Sunday, Sunday at dinner. Okay. And you? Early dinner, not too late. Uh, no, it may be 6 p.m. Um, okay. Maybe 6 p.m. Sounds good. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, Maria. Yes. Okay. Which one is which one is the best? Uh, depend on your where are you live? I live in Lourdes. Okay, yeah. where are you live? Oh, yeah. San Marcos. Rodrigo, where are you live? San Salvador. Where exactly? Redondelma eh, Ferrer. Well, uh, uh, four cardinal points. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, La Gran Vía, maybe. Gran Vía. So, Diego, can you go to, or can you move to La Gran Vía? Yes. Uh, Sunday, 6 p.m. Sunday, 6 p.m., yes. Okay. Is there a restaurant or, or food court? A yeah, food court. It is, yeah, okay. Can you move to La Gran Vía Sunday 6 p.m.? Sure. Okay, Maria, can you oh, move? I can't. No, I can't, Maria. Is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, can't. It's very, very late. Después no me van a ir a dejar aquí. <laughs> Okay, we can. Where do you we live, can... Galileo? San Jacinto. 
Ah, San Marcos ah. está cerca. Cerca yeah. de San Marcos. Vecinos, San Marcos, en asiento vecinos. Yeah, that is the solution. Va. Okay. Y no excuses. Teacher, eso es trampa. Solution. Vaya, no, bueno, así que aquí, tro solution. aquí tronando y lloviendo. Right, yeah. esa es la actitud. Ok, that's right. Good. The last word, the last phrasal verb is chilling. Chill up. También hay más. Hello, teacher. Hello. Oops, it's 10. Come on, it's late. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's, let's stop this and... Hey Arnold, are you okay? <laughs> Suddenly you were. I'm alive. Uh, okay. That's this good. Is the most, this is the most important thing in this moment. Alive. Yes. <clears throat> and a little drama. <laughs> <laughs> If we just keep alive, if we trust in God, I that is the that. only solution. Okay, I people. I'm sorry. I need I'm a sorry. big pizza. Okay. Let's go for pizza. You need a meal for pizza. <laughs> Okay, Anna Lilian Reyes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for attending. Good night. Brian Javier. Brian Javier se dio la fuga, ¿no? Uh, Dinora Alejandra, solo a marcar vino. <laughs> solo a marcar tarjeta vino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Está bueno. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Sí. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. Good night. Sí. José Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here. Tiene he víctima para hoy. Okay. No. <laughs> I wanna... wait. Okay, thank you. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Mary Mary Concepcion Ceron. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good Maria night, Ivania teacher. Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. Zaira Marleni Larin. Present teacher. Good night, Zaira. And Wendy Maribel Good night, Zabaleta. Present teacher. Good, Good night. night. Blessings. Blessings.
Okay, Arnold. Is there, is there anything you would like to review? Reinforce? What? Is there anything or something you would like to review? No, I, I reviewed the last class and practice in my work. Mm. In this moment, I think that I can not all, but the the last topics are are good for me at the moment. I try to to practice. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. The idioms. The idiom. You want to practice more about that? Okay. You want to practice the conversation? Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'll read it first. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello. Hello Mr. Ruiz. Okay. Ah, I'm sorry. No. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach, my stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Will. Have a nice, have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Let's switch. Now you begin. You are Mr. Ruiz. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, uh, Jenny. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling that they were too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in such shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, excellent. Good pronunciation, good intonation. Very good. Thanks. And so you didn't have any problem understanding the meaning of these idioms, did you? Um, under the weather too, the meaning is uh, como para enfermarse. Or, or, no. Yeah, not not feeling well. Okay. Not, not feeling well. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Yes, that is the idea. Uh -huh. Okay. In tip top shape? Uh, in great mm -hmm. condition. So you, when you are, you feel good. Uh, mm -hmm. Top, the high. Yes. You okay. are in tip top shape. Okay, thanks. Great. Awesome. 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 Would you like to practice this one? Okay. Okay. 
Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him for the switch up the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine is uh, the engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if so, if you don't oil it regularly, it will stay up, stay up eventually. That's correct. It stays up. Stays up. Okay. And regularly. Regular, regularly. Yeah. Regularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is eventually. It eventually. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. Sorry, this moment I say one, two, three pills. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, now. <laughs> You begin? Okay, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. This is screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, this will clean up the room before he left. Yes, he, he left. did. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't start to turn up, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Thank you for your support. Well, my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay. <laughs> 